everyone, Danica Adams with this week's Life Talk. We've been talking about value and honor. Whatever we value, we will honor. And if you honor your life, it has value and worth. If you don't value your life, then you haven't honored it. And if you don't honor your life, how will you be able to declare its value to others and expect them to honor it? So, what does honor look like? How do we portray honor for a life, your own or otherwise? Let's use money again. When we honor a dollar bill, we accept its validity as a dollar. Its value has been declared and we are willing to exchange it for anything else we would attribute the same value to. For instance, a piece of candy, a can of soda, or maybe a cheap slinky or four quarters for the gumball machine. And if we make an exchange for one dollar, what we receive in exchange will be treated with about as much consideration as we gave that dollar bill. Now let's say we have a hundred dollar bill. Its value has been declared and we will only exchange it for something else we consider to have the same value. Like a tablet, or that awesome light up robo dinosaur, a makeup set, or a toolkit, or maybe a few rare cards for your magic deck. Again, you will treat it with approximately as much care as you gave the hundred dollar bill. If someone stepped on your piece of candy, you might be a little sad that your candy got squashed. But unless you truly wholeheartedly just loved that candy, or candy and dollar bills are very difficult for you to come by, you would be able to sigh it off and pretty much move on relatively easily. If, however, someone accidentally stepped on your tablet and broke it, unless hundred dollar bills or tablets are very, relatively easy for you to come by, it might be a little bit more difficult for you to shake off than the piece of candy. You'd probably also think, hey, maybe I shouldn't leave my tablet on the floor where people could accidentally step on it, just in case I get a new one. Now let's increase the value once again to that of a house. You pour thousands of dollars into a house and on top of that it's where you store your things. TV, video games, furniture, artwork, bookcases, piano. And its value increases with every positive item or memory that you place there. If that house were to burn down, many tears could very easily be shed at its loss. You can possibly build a new house or move to another one. But you lived here. And let's say you lived at that house all your life. Let's say you loved your life there, and not only did you build many wonderful memories, but you envisioned passing on those memories to your kids. Watching something like that burn can be heartbreaking. But even then, when the firemen get there, their first priority is to make sure that everybody gets out. And if you have kids, you scramble to make sure that these precious lives are brought to safety. And if nobody dies or gets hurt or anything, then you may post on Facebook saying, but at least we are all okay. This is how valuable a life is. Your life is. And you honor it by not leaving it on the floor and letting people step on it. And by not letting it burn along with its surroundings. You get it out of the flames and away from anything that could destroy it. And to keep people from stepping on you, you stand up and you stand firmly and you make certain that what you're standing on is solid. You are the only you in all existence. And if your parents or surroundings haven't treated you with, as, with more value, than the house in my description, then they are wrong. You are worth more. Don't let others dishonor of you to allow you to dishonor yourself. You are valid as a human being. And nothing with a value less than life itself could ever pay for you. And that's all the time we have for today. But please honor yourself, treasure yourself treasure who you are and others will know how to honor you because you know how to honor yourself. I hope everybody has a wonderful week. Love life people.